Welcome everyone back to the Crimson 15 Podcast. I'm your host, Crimson 10. And 15 PCA. Native 454. Be sure to follow us on Twitter at C15 Podcast. So there's going to be an animated Adams Family movie. And this is coming from uh, ComingSoon.net. And the article is, First look at the new Adam... New animated Adams Family movie, and this is by Spencer Perry on June fifth. They show off a picture, and um, Tim Burton isn't working on this, but you can tell yeah. the influences of Tim Burton. It looks picture. like you would think if you look at it, it's Tim Burton. You yeah, I, I don't like the way Gomez looks. He should be a little bit more fit, just a little bit. Yeah, he just he's just he looks bulky. He's wider than Lurch. Yeah, that's uh, weird. But I guess they're trying to play up the whole to him and Fester are brothers because they're both kind of big guys in this. Yeah. yeah. And Fester, yeah, was always a big And Morticia person. is ridiculously skinny. But, you know, that's, yeah. they always try to make her skinny in these. In and then you got, the, you got the grandma. And then you got uh, Wednesday and Pugsley. 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 And they look, they look okay. Uh, there's not much story-wise here that they're giving away, but they just kind of show off this very first image. I think it looks okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So the only gripe we have was with, was with Gomez, and that's about it. Um, again, uh, from the article that I mentioned, um, Veron and Terrence co-direct from Matt Lieberman's screenplay based off Charles Adams' iconic cartoon series. The film will be produced by uh, Vernon and Gail Berman, Viva Her Shingle, The Jackal Group. Alex Schwartz will be executive produced by Adam Mimmon, Kevin, this is basically everyone working on it. Digital visual effects produces under way in Vancouver. One of the most highly respected independent digital entertainment companies based on the famous New Yorker creation of Charles Adams. This animated comedy will follow the Adams family who lives, whose lives begin to unravel when they face off against a crafty reality TV show host while also preparing for their extended family to arrive from a major celebration the Adam style. Oh. Nah, so so we're, we're going to see uh, we're going to see cousin it then and yeah. the thing. Yeah. <laughs> what the, the, the what I loved about the Adams family is they are this crazy strange family but they're so rich no one can get rid of them. No. They have so much money and so much like power and influence no matter how much you hate them but they don't live that. like rich people. They have a mansion, but it's all decrepit and disgusting. It's yeah. not And they're fancy. allowed to be weird and crazy, yeah. and no matter what things they do, they can always just fix it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So it didn't I, matter. I know a lot of people always debate what's better, this or Monsters. I like this. The Monsters? Yeah, yeah monsters. the Monsters in this. I like this. Oh, I like Hannah's family better. Yeah. Because yeah. I like it. Well, what's wrong with these people? You know, I love that. A lot of people interact with like them. In the, it's always been my favorite. Was it like in the first movie where uh, he would hit balls at the judge's house, and he could just do it because he could always pay them? Yeah, and just fix it. Yeah, even if you sued him, he'd be like, okay, here's a million. Like. They yeah. go and like donate all this stuff to like charity, yeah. then they buy it all back. Yeah, just weird because they because it literally has like a treasure room. Yeah, and it has so much because all because their family are like pirates and raiders, assassins and assassins. raiders, so they literally have like this never ending pile of money. If you want to see how much money they have? I'll play the old NES game of of uh, the Adams Family. You actually go in the treasure room. It looks like the money bin from Ducktales. Yeah. It's ridiculously yeah, it just big. Goes on and on, on and, and on, on and nothing but gold. I really like the original films. The ones, you know. Oh, I thought the second film was hilarious. They're both, they're both, they're both excellent. And you, they're the Adams family. They're not bad guys, but they kind of are. Yeah, they're, they're kind of like they're kind of like the evil people. But they're they're evil and like that kind of like they can get away with so much yeah. kind of yeah. way. Not like is they're trying to maniacally be evil. No, they're not like that. But it, it is kind of funny. I always love their personalities playing off of people, and you think that because sometimes they think like, oh, they're joking, and they're like, no, they're being serious, like crazy. So uh, this is coming from the, the article here. Uh, Varen said, Greg and I have always been fans of the Addams Family in past versions. So when we set out to make this movie, we were excited to do something new. What that in mind, I drew from the brilliantly original Charles Adams New Yorker cartoons for the look of the film and decided to tell the story of how Gomez and Morticia met, find their house and start their family. This unique approach is what drew me to the direct this film. Mm. The reimagining also extends to the stellar cast that we put together for each of their own spin-offs for their own film that they'll be able to appeal for longtime fans of the Adams and introduce to a new generation. So I guess they're going to show a little bit of a... Uh, because again, we never knew... How like, they met. How they met, because we know that uh, Fester and Gomez are brothers. Yes. And we don't know anything about Morticia. Like, where did she come from? Another line of... You know, because yeah. she almost looks like a vampire, but she's not. Yeah. She just has that look about her. Yeah. I liked in the movies, like whenever she would speak, she always had like that. There was always some light on yeah, her like, eyes, just on her eyes, just like, a little bit. Wherever she was, she always had that look of I like mean, she could be in a totally dark room, pitch black, and you could see her eyes. <laughs> it's heck? just like this weird little thing. And the I love it though; it fits. It's great. There. And uh, I think her personality was she a poisoner or something like that. Yeah, she, it's so funny. And and I also noticed another thing I like about the Adams family is as 
crazy and where they still are family. Yes. Yeah. He loves his wife. Mm-hmm. Like there, he's like in madly in Lovely. love with his yeah, wife. Yeah, the only one you consider to be normal if you see as Pugsley. He yeah. looks kind of normalish for a kid. Yeah, for for what it's worth. Yeah, <laughs> if you're gonna say so, yeah. it's normal. Yeah. And you didn't even mention a uh, thing. Yeah, thing. The little hand that runs around. And then also be cool. And maybe it's how they find out how they like find Lurch. Like yeah. where they find them because he's just a butler, but he definitely he's Frankenstein. Another yeah. story I wanted the answer. How like do they get the dragon in the stairs? They open the thing into the dragon. What the heck's that all? They about? build it around the dragon. Like, yeah, I know, right. And, uh, yeah, there was, like, he lived under the stairs or whatever. Yeah, yeah. So, um, they go on and they kind of do, like, a, some character breakdown here. They say, Morticia, devastly devoted to her husband and children, is the pale glue that holds her clan together. Gomez, debonair, sinister, and passionately in love with his wife, is enthusiastic about whatever dreadful scheme he's cooked up. Wednesday is a brilliant, sinister teenage girl with long braids and a deadpan whip. Pugsley is a menacing 10-year-old and on overdrive enjoys getting into all kinds of uh, dreadful mischief he can mad uncle fester is good natured married and likes to create mayhem any way he can grandma is smitten with her grandchildren and enjoys her cookie shapes like bats and skulls uh, marlex needler also the reality tv makeover queen is consumed with the desire of absolute suburbia pastel perfection also she's going to try to get them out of the neighborhood yeah she's like she hates them because everything's like perfect cookie cutter then you have the adam's house yeah. that's like this yeah. super new gray everything I, I love it because i want them to be like where it's suburbia and everywhere at usa and in their house it's yeah. like, this like it just sticks out yeah, yeah. You green green dead grass and all like dead trees and you have like, like gravestones in the front like this is this <laughs> I love that. And like this, like from the character descriptions, they're pretty good descriptions. I kind of yeah. like them. Except for the fact that they say Wednesday is a teenager. She's pretty tiny for a teenager. teenager. Uh, she's yeah. about 11, I would yeah. say. Yeah, or maybe like a, a tween if at best, yeah. which is like, like you said, you 12, know, 12 yeah. 13, maybe. And as long as that the, the family chemistry, like even the thing they talk about the fact that it's almost to the point of ridiculous how much... Gomez and Morticia are in love with each other. Like yeah. it's like, okay, guys, calm it down. Yeah, okay, we get uh, it. You love each other. Yeah, it's <laughs> almost, uh, it's almost like a weird kind of like desire. Yeah, almost, like or like bad. Like I, I, would, I would say bad. one thing. I will say that I think the the monsters have around them. I think the vehicles are cooler than the monsters. Nah. Oh yeah, yeah, because they actually emphasize that. They really didn't emphasize that in Anne's family. But, but um, that's it, though. Uh, I think the look. I want to see it in motion. That's a big part of animation is how it looks as it's moving. Yeah. But the character designs, they're okay. Yeah. Uh, 7 out of 10. Yeah. Eh, it's but fine. again, for being the offbeat of that yeah. family is, it makes sense. You can I need to see that. what everyone else looks like. It'd be funny if they look like this and everyone else looks totally different. Yeah. Like the animation I'll, almost looks like it doesn't fit. I want them to look yeah, like, yeah, almost cool. look like, like a Pixar Disney look to it. And they could look like it, this. It needs to have, um, just from like the description, it has an Edward Scissorhands feel to it where you have this cookie cutter suburbia then up on the hill there's the the castle the the yeah the, 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 the laboratory yeah. almost almost an oblons yeah contrast yeah but um i asked uh, you know everyone out there in the comments do you like the way this looks or do you remember the adams family oh yeah the original yeah do, i watched it on reruns when i was a little kid do you so. enjoy the monsters or the adams family i i i, I cited the adams family i mean i don't mind the monsters they're just they're more of the kid version of that yeah. family to me but it, 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 but the thing when you say that it's not like there's this is some adult no, story. No, no, it's not adult. No. But I meant like in terms of like there's more depth to it. I should put it that way. That's probably a better way of saying it. But um, yeah, this looks like it could be fun. I definitely want to see a trailer, and we will cover it if, when when the trailer does yeah. come out. But um, yeah, I think the Adams yeah. family is a good enough story to be told again. Yeah, and it looks sure. like the way that the people are talking that they are real fans of the original stuff, and they kind of are going to pay respect, and they're not going oh, yeah. to try to make it really stupid. Don't put in. Uh, pop culture jokes that aren't funny that get old yeah. really fast like don't have it, Wednesday say what? some puns or yeah. just, just do what they did in this uh, what they did in the Anne's Family live action movies yeah. those were fine yeah. you can go back and watch both those films and they're still funny yeah. good films so uh, yeah definitely just we only have the one picture uh, well I want to see some more of the uh, where it takes place I wonder mm-hmm. if it's going to be uh, it'd be cool it takes place like in the 50s or should it take place like in the Today. today, I think today because this, yeah. this is virtual. But the this only is problem with reality TV show aspect. Oh yeah, that is that that, yeah. that is so, right. Yeah, so it's so probably gonna be modern times. But I can always want like stupid cell phone culture and uh, you know memes and internet and stuff. Y- y- mm. As long as they just keep it just that, not yeah. add all that or, other or stuff. Or at least everyone else can do that, but not the yeah. Adam's family. Like they don't yeah. own cell phones or anything yeah, like no, that. No, exactly. You don't have internet. Exactly. So yeah, there's there's jokes to be had. There's um, 
as long as they don't try to take it and go because we haven't seen anything about it like we've seen in a lot of other trailers we covered where they try to throw in these weird little political stabs you know oh uh, me too and all that kind of stuff just just make a fun story Here's the Anthony Anthony doesn't family. need that I no. want it to be timeless I don't want it to happen well I don't think the Lego movie needed that but yeah. apparently they put that in there yeah, so I know, right? it's just one of those kinds of things just let Adam's family be their crazy kooky selves That and the, the, the core of it, yeah. the core about them is that they're a family and they stick together yeah. and I like that and I think movies like this can still work mm-hmm. it's funny Amazon is kind of that timeless property that you can still do today and it works and it's and it's creepy and it's fun and kids love Halloween and yeah. scary things so they can always be I'm pretty sure it's coming out in October yeah. I'm assuming so there you go Crimson Sin here thanks for watching and be sure to like sub and share also for the most up to date information about the podcast follow us on Twitter at C15 Podcast <laughs>